What's up everybody? I'm back and I'm sitting with what I've been told is a VIP. Can you tell me who you are? I've never met you before. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, well hi, hi Jake. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is uh, Jim Marco. Um, I'm actually the, the writer of uh, KAWL Presents It's a Wonderful Life, a radio play for the stage. And it's such a long title, I actually had to look at the script to remember <laughs> the title of the play. So you did. You wrote the thing. I did. Um, what made you want to write a radio play version of It's a Wonderful Life? Well, It's a Wonderful Life is my all-time favorite movie. All-time favorite movie. It reminds me of my dad, and I just, I've always, like, my dream role is always to play George Bailey. So, I'm like, well, I'm probably never going to get cast in this time to play George <laughs> Bailey, so I'm going to write the damn thing myself and find a way for me to be George Bailey. And I am George Bailey. And then this year, you're also assistant directing. Yes. Okay, so can you talk to us about like the head first dive into this production? Sure, well yeah, because you know, um, being the, the main star in the show, being the writer, that wasn't enough. So I also you know, wanted to offer my assistant directing services. Eventually if we keep doing the show at some point, there will be no need for anybody else. It will all just be done by me. So I'm going to get very excited about that day as well. But no, the production is the production's going uh, really, really well. We've done this for a few years in a row. Just because, honestly, the main reason, um, we, we started this one year and we're like, well, we'll just see how it goes. And it was insanely successful. And then we had people telling us how they, this was part of their holiday tradition and everything. And every year, this ends up being one of our favorite shows, not only to do, but that our patrons like. So we're just going to keep on rolling with it. And for me, it's a big ego boost because, you know, I wrote the show, so it makes me feel good. So. Double time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, next time it'll say... KWL presents It's a Wonderful Life, a radio play for the stage, adapted by Jim Martica, a one-man show. Starring Jim Martica. Starring Jim Martica. <laughs> directed by, produced by Jim Martica. Yes. <laughs> um, what, do you have a, a favorite memory about past performances oh, or God. this year's rehearsal process so far? Um, it, well, what's fun in doing this now, uh, this is our fourth year doing this I think this version, fourth year I think, doing this version of it. Um, and what's kind of cool is that the cast is changing quite a bit throughout the year. So like seeing how everybody does different takes on some of like the you know the main characters, some of the famous characters from It's a Wonderful Life. So, and I don't know, it's just it's a lot of fun. My favorite thing, honestly, in doing this, other than um, reading my dream role, is listening to how we incorporate the sound effects, which I know you guys have focused on the sound effects at some point. It's amazing what they're able to come up with. So yeah, that's that's always my favorite part. Um, this is a very wholesome show. Yes. Are there anything like does anything ever come up in the text or in rehearsal that doesn't feel so wholesome? <laughs> yeah, that's and you're rotten for asking that question. Yeah, there's um, because this is a radio play. Um, there, there's this whole part where <laughs> George. George goes to talk to his daughter, Zuzu, and Zuzu is talking with him about her flower. And it's, when you just see it with no context, it's a very awkward exchange between a father and a daughter about her flower. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. So. <laughs> um, one time, while he's here, I saw uh, Jim get pranked on stage during the oh, show. Yeah. Where there's a part where Uncle Billy comes on stage and announces, "Oh, this is a real pickle, George." Yeah. Um, and the actor playing the role at the time was Eric. It was yes, Eric, Eric Sire. Sire um, had been walking around with an actual pickle in his pocket. <laughs> pulls it out. Jim doesn't see it first. Nope. This is a pickle, George. He turns around. Yeah. He breaks apart, turns away from the audience. Very serious moment to play too. <laughs> very, very serious moment where like George's problems are just really starting to happen, and there's this Yahoo on stage holding a pickle at me, going, "This is a pickle, George." That pretty much derailed the rest of that nice performance, yeah. but whatever. Was going on. <laughs> That's great. Lee Calero thinks that the green cast is better than the red cast, and that he is a better George Bailey. Would you care to respond? He is, he's a very, very good George Bailey. What can I say? He's, he's young. I remember when I first started acting, and uh, yeah, I, I had that same kind of youthful cockiness and mm -hmm. energy, and no, but at least Lee's doing great. He's doing a great job. He's proving to be a very, very good backup to me. As, again, no, he does his job when he's needed. <laughs> he's like an on-call stripper. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, is there anything else you'd like to share with us 
the cameras, the world. No, just, I mean, come come see it. It's a fun show. Uh, not anything real in-depth here. It's just a good, wholesome holiday show, and you'll see, more than anything, you'll see a lot of people having some fun getting into the holiday spirit. It's just, it's a great show. Yeah. So, if you like the show, this is the show plus another show. It's a show within a show. A show within a within show. show. When does it start? It starts December 4th and runs through December 21st. All right. So, yeah. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jake. Jacob, right? Jacob. Yeah, yes, Jacob. Um, right. Thank geez, you, Jacob. Where do we meet? Probably shouldn't talk about that on air. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat>